Hi, I'm Hazel Mills, and here are my favourite things about the modulation matrix on the UDO Super 6. So the modulation matrix is split into eight destinations and eight sources, and you can modulate any of these eight modulation destinations with any of the eight modulation sources. You enter the matrix by selecting Mod Assign, and then you can use it in essentially one of three ways. Firstly, you can start by selecting your source, for example, LFO2, and then by selecting the parameter that you want that to modulate, for example, the cross-modulation. And what you'll then need to do is choose the amount that you want it to modulate, and you do this with the mod mount knob. You can go either right for positive value or left for negative. So just to give you an extreme example. This also works in reverse, whereby you can choose your destination first and then select which source you want to modulate it. So here are some examples of some patches that I have created by using the modulation matrix in this way. This one, I have envelope 1 modulating the rate of LFO1, which is in turn modulating the filter. So that was envelope one modulating the time of the delay. And that was aftertouch modulating the decay of envelope one. And I had envelope one modulating the filter. Now there's a bit of a hidden gem with the mod matrix, and that's that you can also modulate some parameters that are not listed in the destination list. Many of the parameters that are on the control panel can also be modulated by these eight sources. Now you do this by going into Mod Assign, selecting and holding the source that you want to use, and whilst holding it down, you then move the parameter on the control panel that you want to modulate. For example, I'm going to modulate the detune with LFO2 here. You still also need to select the amount that you want to modulate it as you would normally. <laughs> Here are some other patches that I have created using this direct mapping. So in that one I had the velocity modulating the amount that DDS2 was modulating the filter. was the aftertouch modulating the level of the delay.
So just a final word on locating and or clearing existing modulation mappings. When you enter the modulation matrix by hitting mod assign, it will show you if there are any current active mappings by flashing the corresponding lights in both the sources and the destinations. So we can see that the resonance and the cross modulation are both being modulated in some way. And we can also see that LFO2 is being used as a modulation source. And if we go into one of them, we can see a bit more detail. So for example, the resonance, we can see that it's being modulated by LFO2. And then if we move the mod amount very slightly, we can see that it's set to negative 100%. Now, if I were to hit LFO2, we can see it's modulating both the cross modulation and the resonance. To clear an individual destination, let's say we wanted to get rid of the resonance and not have that be modulated, we would select that so the light becomes solid, hit shift, and then hold the clear button, which is also mod design. And now it's showing us that only the cross modulation is being modulated. If you wanted to clear any mapped modulation associated with a particular source, You'd select that source and then again hit shift and hold clear. And now we can see there's no modulation active. It's worth noting that any active direct mappings won't actually be visible. You'll see that the source is modulating something, but you won't see what it's modulating. So if you wanted to clear that, then obviously you can just select the source and then hit shift and clear. If you'd like to get your hands on the patches that I've used for this video, then check out the description for a download link and I'll see you next time.